<laughs> That's the sound of flickers. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's roughly 8.30 a.m. and uh, Jen and I are out here in uh, El Chaltan, Patagonia. And today we are going to be hiking the... Loma del Pligue Tumbado. As you can see on the sign right there. Yeah. Um, this is the same trailhead as the uh, Los Condors trail that we did yesterday. And uh, we had to hike out here from our hostel, which was a little over a mile. So, Jen, how long of a trek is it going to be? Uh, today, <laughs> the hike is uh, 10 kilometers each way, so 20 kilometers round trip. Um, where we're going is a viewpoint, or a series of viewpoints actually, a series of miradors, where you have amazing views. Um, there are three summits. Uh, we're going to go for the highest one, which should give us an elevation gain of about 3,500 feet. Yeah, and um, to be a little bit more empirical about it, that is roughly five and a half to six miles out to the peak. So six miles back, that's 11, roughly 11 to 12 miles on the trek, plus the two miles for town walking. So we're looking at like a 14 mile day today. <laughs> it's gonna be a long one, but it's going to be great because as you can see, the weather is fantastic. There's yeah. no wind, there are hardly any clouds in the sky and the mountains are lit up. So we have high hopes. Yes, high hopes and hopefully uh, these mount this mountain range here uh, isn't overexposed, but uh, from the light, you know, not the not the conditions. Woo, exposure. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I think uh, that's all we have to say right now. We're gonna get on the trail. Are you ready? On that note, yes. Let's hit the trail. All right. Let the night surprise you. The night is a killer. <laughs> Jen totally forgot to tell you about the lack of water on this hike. Thankfully, I remembered. So actually, it's a really long hike. There's not much water. Uh, this little guy here is about 10 minutes off the trailhead. We might see it again, him again, her again, the water again. But um, otherwise, make sure you pack plenty of water. Don't let the sun surprise you. Right, right or the night. Don't let anything surprise you. Ever. Ever in Patagonia, because it will. Yes. It's a very, it's, that's actually very surprising in and of itself. <laughs> Ooh. Closer. <laughs> that's that's ridiculous. How does that happen? Kind of nice out here, other than those filthy cows.
Okay, so we're 2.7 miles into the hike, and it's about an hour and 20 minutes, and we've got a beautiful view of where we're headed. Uh, before, I was um, thinking about our previous hike and was wrong. This is actually where we're going, and it's that brown mound to the left of the snowy peak on the right. So that's going to be our vantage point, and then that's Cerro Solo. Cerro Torre is the three peak. And then you have the beautiful Fitzroy. Uh, so far, this is a great hike. We're almost to the uh, turnoff. So let's get back at it. There's also cows. Cows in the background. Cows. 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 A little bit of Rayadito action, our favorite bird so far, other than torrent ducks. <laughs> it took us about an um, hour and a half to get here. We're at the three mile mark, five kilometers ish. So, halfway. So we've descended into the Lenga forest, and an important fact to note here is the fact that there is a stream, um, so you can get water along this trail. We didn't know if you could, people said bring some, we brought some. I might pour my faucet water into the stream and get some real water going here. I like the people, especially this guy. Zombie man. <laughs> Here there are zombies between Cerro Solo and Cerro Torre. <laughs> there, we saw the Mirador sign, uh, but the real Mirador is way up there. Well, there's actually a sign pointing out the three Miradors or something, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, there are three, three summits, each about 100 meters apart from each other, or they each differ by about 100, 100 meters in elevation, and I think... I think that one directly behind us is the first one, mm -hmm. and then the third one, which is obviously the only one worth going to because it's clearly the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the one. That's the real one. Yep. So we're gonna head on up and have a good time. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Hot fun in the. Why is Jen coming back? What is it? Jen forgot her binoculars. She has to go all the way back to the forest to get them. At least the view's not bad for me. Hmm. There's where we're headed. And there's a bunch of cows down there. Looks like Jen found her knocks. And there's all these little ground tyrants flying around here. Hi, little guy. 
What are you? <gasps> it's a whatchamacallit? Guanaco. Guanaco. Right up there's a guanaco. That weird <laughs> sound was him. There's some more water on the trail. Guanaco flavored. Guanaco flavored water. Not delicious. You don't know until you try it. Oh. So we made it up uh, the first hump there. Uh, good little workout. But it's this bad boy in front of me that I'm really looking forward to. There she is. Man. I guess they're all going down to a meter door. But this is where we're going. You ready for that, Jen? Onward and upward. Yeah, buddy, buddy. I'm gonna eat some extra energy snacks just for this. Let's do it. <laughs> What's it called? Loma del Pliegue Tumbado. Pliegue Tumbado. Tumbazo. Pazzo. To be. Tumbado. Tumbab. Tumbalo. Or Loma del Penguin Trombone, as it was earlier. In the yes, hike. Loma del Penguino Trombone. <laughs> Sorry. How you feeling, Jen? Great. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. We're leaving. The body rock or something. This is the final push. Yeah. Oh. Not there yet. I don't know. Those parts you can do better. You can use your hands. Oh, I haven't used my hands in forever. Oh, looks like there's more to go. Didn't see that coming. And the rest of the people are making their way up. Almost there. Almost there. thing down there it only dreams of being a minador <laughs> <laughs> there you go <sighs> we made it that was exhausting oh but it's so worth it look at this view yeah this is this is incredible you can see Everything you can see, Sarah Lamel, you can Puemol, you can see the very tip 
of the South Patagonian Ice Field, and I think that's Glacier um, Tunnel, uh, Cerro Solo, Cerro Torre, Fitzroy, uh, all, everything, all of the lakes. Yeah, it's, it's, this is, it's insane. Oh, and to think we almost didn't do this. This is truly the, uh, this should be the... Oh my god, right Mirador. there. There's, <laughs> There's a condor. Condores. That is no, that's not a condor. condor, that's a massive hawk. <laughs> Mirador oh. of the Grande Hawks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow, so how long did it take us? Three, uh, three hours, 25 minutes. Three hours, 25 minutes. That is under four hours yeah. and un under three and a half hours and uh, 6.2 miles, <laughs> something like that. Um, not including the out or the mile and some what it took us to get to the trailhead, but... Uh, <laughs> or my backtracking to pick up my binoculars. Yeah, well, that, I did cut out the time of you backtracking. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is amazing. We got to the trailhead at 8.30, we're up here three and a half hours. Um, I'm gonna spin you around a bit. We're gonna try to look at this hawk uh, and I'm gonna break out the big camera and take some shots before this uh, light gets too harsh. Um, is this our last hike in El Chao Ten? This is our last hike in El Chao Ten and it's a very fitting farewell hike, I think. Although I would recommend, um, it's probably a good idea to not save this for your last hike. It's probably better to do this when you're fresh and yeah. not after you know five days of backpacking or eight days of hiking many miles every single day. Cause yeah. We're really my heels are about. We we're feeling it. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for our uh, Ushuaia adventure. <laughs> See ya.